Max Profit here and welcome to my channel. Today video is gonna be about sold listings. So in this video today, I just wanna show you some of the items we sold on either Poshmark or eBay. Poshmark started doing a little bit better this year. And since we start selling on Poshmark was really terrible. As you can see in some of my video about Poshmark, but this year it starts really good and I'm just gonna show you some of the items we sold on Poshmark as well. So you know what, just let's go and see what we sold in last, I would say, seven days. So let's see it. So first item here, it is the Pioneer. Uh, this is 25, this CD changer. Those are not uh, really high selling items. They do not sell for high money right this is only 25 disc changer so do not pay like 15 20 dollars like goodwill they want this kind of money for those items but i pay only five dollars for this one or seven somewhere there so sold for 37 dollars 23 dollars shipping another item ankyo and this is from my friend he said that he's gonna throw in the garbage uh, that he doesn't want anymore he's just sitting in a garage so I said, you know what, if you're going to throw in the garbage, I can pick it up. So he bring me this item uh, uh, before Christmas. Uh, it got removed, everything. It was just so dirty. So I have to actually open everything and use the uh, compressor. So air and clean everything. Uh, so it's going to, so it looks, it's like, like new now. Very nice. And sold after, I believe, one week somewhere there. And so for $106 and $40 shipping was a little bit heavier. So you got to make sure you're going to charge enough for your shipping. Coach, vintage coach purses. Uh, they going really well for us and probably for most of you guys would go. Uh, those are really nice thick leather. And um, if you're going to see them in a Goodwill, it's really easy to spot them because leather is just really thick. It's just raw. Uh, nothing fancy, very nice thick material. And I pay for this one, I believe, like $5 and sold for $53 and $10 shipping. Sunny receiver. Um, you're going to see them at Goodwill, a lot, lot of them. But at Goodwill, they want like $20. So do not buy them really for expensive. If, do not pay a lot of money for them. Because look, the sole is just $30 and $30 shipping. Shipping was around $25 or something like that. So you got to make sure you're going to charge enough for your shipping. This is another receiver Sony. So you're going you're gonna to check all the time what kind of model is that. This one was STR DG600. So this one go for a little bit more money. So not every receiver is the same. But same time. If you're gonna get, if you're gonna bring them home, you gotta make sure that everything is working, and then is about the picture. So nice pictures is gonna sell. Miss me jeans, like I told you from my previous videos, do not spend more than you know I would say seven dollars for miss me jeans. They're not super high seller. Um, you can spend more for them, but if they big size, so like big size for big ass. They're going to sell for great money. But smaller sizes, you know, they're not like crazy sellers. You're not going to get uh, big money for them. Jossie Culture. And this one was actually new with tech. And we bought this one, I believe, I'm not sure, from Salvation Army for 70 cents. Because that was the day, 70 cents day. Uh, so that was with new with tech. So Juicy Culture, they're not like super hot sellers, but if you have uh, something like that with new with tag, of course you're going to get more money. This one, $58, not bad. Another coach, small vintage bag, that was a really small one, and I got probably three like that already. Um, and I sold, I'm not sure, maybe two already. Uh, but this one was, I purchased probably for around $10, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but sold for $90, not bad. And this one was sitting in our store probably for two weeks or three weeks. Newman Marcus, I don't know this brand exactly, but it's just really nice um, sweater cardigan. Very nice color, 
just beautiful and so for 33 dollars nothing crazy but i believe we paid no more than five dollars for this one theory it's just really good brand really good seller for us so even you're not gonna get maybe top dollar for theory but same time um, you're just gonna sell you're just gonna go really fast you're not gonna wait for too long Brioni. This Brioni was from Salvation Army, and we got this uh, coat, trench coat, I believe, like almost a year ago. But because it's got some issue on the bottom, down, uh, it's, there was like spot or dirty, like really, really bad. We didn't post, so we said, ah, we have to fix it first, so then we can sell for some kind of good money. Uh, but then it was just sitting and sitting. In our store and then we decide you know what just post as is and we will see what's gonna happen uh, but we pay only 70 cents at Salvation Army uh, so we posted and it go after I believe like a month and we got $57 so from, from some brands even if it's got some issue you don't have to be worried similar with Burberry you know they just go another coach uh, if I pick up coach from the Goodwill uh, it's got to be leather and it's got to be nice something take leather and make sure it's a leather uh, So you have to you can spot if it's leather or not uh, And this one I Probably pay ten dollars. I'm not sure uh, and so for 50 great Another coach I can't believe how many we have uh, so this one I pay seven dollars. I'm not sure, but somewhere there, those are the prices that are goodwill, and I would not pay more than ten dollars if it's coach. And you just hear really nice noise, and that was we just sold something on eBay. Great. So this one is sold for fifty dollars, seven dollars shipping. Phones. I found those phones, and you see like, I believe like fifteen of them at goodwill. And for each I pay seven dollars and they not fast seller probably if I bundle them they would go much faster but you know what though just bringing some money to our store so they're sitting here and slowly and surely they move another bag this is I believe some army bag I'm not sure but yeah it looks like that uh, I pay five dollars for this one and so for 55 so do not miss you know uh, area where they at Goodwill where they carrying bags because this is just great, great um, spot to find uh, good items. Those shoes really nice. I just love them, Ariat, and those were new, right? Yeah, brand new, really nice color like goldy, purple, beautiful. I paid ten dollars for them, and they were prop they were probably for one month in our store. And they just flew later on. So good. You're going to see so many DVD players at Google. Just a lot of them over there. And nobody picked them up. Because they do not sell good, right? But sometimes you can spot over there DVD recorder. Which is much better. And uh, Goodwill, they charge $3 for recorder. Because they think those items, they do not have a you know resale value so but the reality is DVD recorders you're gonna sell really good and I paid three dollars for this one sold for forty four dollars and sometimes it's hard to check them if they work or not because you can play the movie that's easy to check if it's playing movie that's no problem uh, but sometimes even if you're gonna put uh, plain DVD it just not gonna record or you don't know how to record movie over there so then you're just gonna take a risk post as is you know and sell it and if the buyer's gonna say that oh he's not recording the movie you're always gonna tell him i check if it's playing the movie and it plays movie but you know i'm sorry and you just you know what you're just gonna you're just gonna take those three dollars loss and that's it but if everything is fine look from three to forty four so don't worry plus 29 dollars shipping actually we the shipping was around 15 dollars only this is very light so we made almost how much almost 60 dollars good this is cd player not every cd player is great but this one is actually yamaha 
and uh, no speakers, no nothing, just that. I paid three dollars at Goodwill. Very light item, small item. Make sure it's working. So as soon as you're gonna get home, uh, connect some speakers and make sure it's working. And if it's uh, look thirty nine forty dollars plus twenty nine dollars shipping. Shipping was much cheaper. This is small item, so shipping was probably I would say fifteen dollars, not more. We go with FedEx. Uh, so great profit. Brooks Brothers, very nice brand. I just love it. You just gotta make sure that you uh, buying the good one and that they really nice shape. And of course, size. Look, those are 12, size 12. Um, I pay $5 because I do not pay more for shoes like that than $5. If there are boots, I would go more, right? Even $12 for boots. But for regular shoes, no more than five. And that's the price we I, which I go for. And sold for $53. Good. Burberry. Nice. But this is for children only. And uh, we pay, I'm not sure, either $3 at Goodwill or something like that for children. And was sold almost instantly uh, for $35 and for our shipping. OGG, of course. Goodwill is getting crazy. Uh, as soon as they see something OGG, they're putting price like $20, $15. And a lot of times those those boots are destroyed, really bad condition. But because they are OGG, Goodwill thinks that, oh my gosh, we have a gold. So they're pricing really bad. I pay for this one $10 because they, this one was really nice. And um, those were really hot seller. And because it's a winter, of course. So I get $90. Lululemon men's jogger pants, very good brand. Of course, always pick Lululemon because it just makes sense. Do not overpay. Um, I would say if it's more than jacket, if it's jacket Lululemon, of course, you can pay $20, no problem because you're gonna sell for $100, $80. Um, but jogger, something like that, I would not, not go more than $10. $10, it's, a, it's okay because it's a fast seller. And, um, you know, because sometimes you have to see that uh, even you pay more, but it's a fast seller. Uh, so that makes sense because you're going to get right away your money back. And, of course, what kind of season it is. Uh, so this one just makes sense to pick down $45. Red Valentino, just look at the color. Beautiful color, right? It's very nice. And we pay, I'm not sure, but around $5 for this one and sold for $40 plus $6 shipping. Calvin Klein and this one actually, Calvin Klein is not super hot seller. Uh, he, uh, you know, the super hot seller uh, suit. Uh, but if you have a pants and, and jacket, of course you can get good money. And I pay for this one 70 cents at Salvation Army, so that was great. It was sitting in our closet for a while, but we pay only 70 cents. So if you're gonna buy suit for three dollars, uh, because half off day or something like that, definitely grab it. It's just gonna sitting in your closet for a while. I would not go if it's if this is Calvin Klein and it's only a jacket. Uh, I would not go for that because it would sitting probably forever in our closet. But because got pants and everything, uh, you know, I just pick it up, of course. So, $40. Lulu Roy. Lulu Roy is it's, it's in trouble right now. Uh, but if you're going to get something like that, cardigan, large. Uh, this one is even pre-owned, right? So, it's not new. Now, we're going to see a lot of new stuff on eBay. This one was pre-owned. Uh, but it was just nice color, large. We pay seven dollars probably, and uh, forty dollars sold. Oh, Diane von Fürstenberg, very good brand, very nice brand, very high-end brand. So make notes about this brand because you can make really good money if you're gonna find something like that. Uh, I mean this brand. Uh, we pay seven dollars for those for this dress. And sold for 55. Great. Another coach. You see? Okay, so this is another coach. 
of course I pay probably seven dollars I'm not sure but somewhere there and so for seventy dollars fourteen dollars shipping make sure it's a letter and it's a uh, old and vintage because everybody just love vintage Lily Pulitzer very nice color very nice like sweater right something like that wrap or whatever they call uh, it's just nice color and um, we pay five dollars spider vintage spiders jacket of course it's a winter mm, I'm not sure how much we pay for this jacket but no more than ten dollars because if it's more than ten dollars it's gotta be something really good so this is most what we pay um, and this one sold for seventy four dollars uh, pretty good sale Atleta definitely pick Atleta um, you know because it's just good selling uh, item uh, do not overpay because then you're gonna sit on your money for for not long because they just selling really good but I just hate spend too much money so I would not pay more than ten dollars for an item like that uh, but so for sixty dollars good and this is Sony receiver you see this one is Sony it's got a remote and everything shipping here definitely wasn't forty dollars shipping was probably twenty five dollars so and I pay five dollars or seven dollars for this item no more and um, was sold for you know the profit over there was around forty dollars um, not bad and here we are Poshmark um, Poshmark, I did some video about Poshmark, how terrible is Poshmark, and that was probably like six months ago, something like that, because it was true, you know, so I'm going to do another video about Poshmark, how to figure out and how to start selling on Poshmark, and what to sell on Poshmark, as you can see, those brands we sold on Poshmark, those are St. John, $45, Alan Fisher Boots, $80, UGG uh, Boots, for men's, right, uh, $70, Merrill, just just small Merrill, nothing special, 18. And uh, Mezzalon, Alligator Crocodile Shoes. I bought them uh, for $10 at Goodwill, but beautiful crocodiles, very nice. And we sold them for $225. Um, and that was everything like a week ago, something like that. And another Poshmark sale, right? Those are first is Anthropology. Maeve, uh, this is like the t-shirts all the way on top, we sold for $34, then Torrid, nothing special, it was sitting in our closet forever, and we sold for $25, Ariat, nice boots, I paid for those boots, I believe $25 at Goodwill, but they were so beautiful, I just love them, and sold on Poshmark for $150, mm, and I have them probably for one week or two weeks, something like that. Seven for all mankind dojo jeans. I told you guys pick those jeans, but those were new, and I bought them for twenty dollars at Goodwill. And after one week, sold on Poshmark for hundred fifty dollars. And those and on the bottom, those are new Rutis. Remember this brand. You're not gonna find probably a lot of them or any. If you must be really lucky to find those and in new condition and those were new and we pay for them five dollars at goodwill or something like that i'm not sure but somewhere there nothing special but just beautiful right and um sold on parchment for hundred dollars not bad and this is first item so let's go back so we are back guys that was another sold listing video um if you like if you learned something i'm just want to i want to show you you know how much you can get for your item so something different is what is sold listing what is expecting listing but then if you're gonna do good pictures if you tab rated seller if you have a great feedback uh you know all those things uh they just gonna help you to sell your sell your item better so of course if your feedback is not gonna be great you cannot expect to get top dollar for your item it's gotta be something something unusual and something what is not there to get better money but if you're selling like you know just the clothing and stuff like that and some little electronic 
Uh, if you're not top rated, if you do not have a great feedback, you cannot expect to get top dollar for your items. So if you're just starting your business th this year, 2019, if you're just starting your business in the beginning, just sell as much as possible, but do great customer service. That means great shipping, great boxes, everything, everything's got to be perfect. So you're going to build your, your credit. Um, uh, so people are gonna start like your store and start liking you because you're just providing really great customer service. So and then and later on you can start rise your prices and everything, right? So but in the beginning just move on everything, uh, so you can you're gonna build good business. Whew. Okay, that's it in today video. If you're new to this channel, subscribe right there. And uh, if you're new, uh, if you're new, if you're my subscriber already, just give me some like. And that's it. That's all what I need. And give me some comments if you like this kind of videos. I want to do those videos every single Sunday. So you can, guys, you can learn something. Good. See you next time. Max Profit. Take care, guys.